ECNIC approved nine projects or the Dhaka 164.43 crore. Bangladesh has slipped to 149th position on the corruption, said TIB. And no matter who is involved with the drug, none of them will be exempted, said the DMP Commissioner. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV News. I'm Fouza Roshan Akhtar with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines. Now the details. Executive Committee of the National Economic Council ECNEC approved nine projects or Tataka 164.43 crore. The approval was given in the meeting of the National Economic Council Executive Committee in the chair of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in the ECNEC meeting in the morning. After the meeting, details of projects and financing issues are mentioned by Planning Minister Abdul Manan. GOB funding of projects is about 13,620 billion taka, project loan of 2,527 billion, and financing of the company's own fund is 285 crore taka. Bangladesh has slipped to 149th position on the Corruption Perception Index published by Transparency International, an international non-government organization based in Berlin. The CPI 2019 report, which ranks 180 countries across the globe, vast corruption was compelled by Transparency International and unveiled by TIB around 11 a.m. at Dhanmondi's Maida Center on Tuesday. Among the South Asian countries, Bangladesh ranked just above Afghanistan, which is last on the Regional Corruption Index. Bangladesh also ranked fourth from the bottom among all other Asian countries. DMP Commissioner Asadu Zaman Mia said that there will be no militants on the ground of the father of the nation, Bongo Bundhu, Sheikh Muzibur Rahman. He said this when he came to inaugurate the CCTV room in the cities of the Nagur area. Asadu Zaman Mia also said that no matter who is involved with the drug, none of them will be exempted. During this time, he claimed that the use of the latest technology decreased crime in the capital. Four persons were killed after a brick-laden truck danced into Turag River in Moragang area of Ashulia in Sava early on Tuesday. The incident occurred at 6 a.m. as the truck driver lost control over the steering while it was crossing a narrow Arden road in Moragang area and plunged into the 40-foot deep river. Three people jumped off the truck, leaving them injured. They were taken to a local hospital. On information, two units of a fire service from Uttara and a team of divers rushed to the spot and recovered the bodies of all four missing persons. A Rangpur court on Tuesday sentenced Snikta Bhomik Deepa to death on charge of killing her husband, advocate Rathis Chandra Bhomik. Judge ABM Nazmul Hawk of Rangpur District Senior Sessions, judge court issued the order at noon. Deepa was present at the courtroom during the verdict. 55-year-old Rathis Chandra Bhomik alias Babu Shona was killed over Deepa's extramarital affair with one Kamrul Islam. Rathis was found buried under sand in an under-construction building in Tazat Mullapara area of Rangpur at early hours of April 4, 2018. Viewers, we are taking a short break. We will soon be back with. Welcome back to MyTV News and uh, thanks for being with us. An alleged rapist was killed in a shootout with police in Kotwali Thana area in the port city early Tuesday. The deceased was identified as Muhammad Shahabuddin. 
police said Shabuddin was wanted in a much talked gang rape case. Acting on secret information, police conducted a drive in the area this morning. Meanwhile, sensitive presence, the jaws of him opened fire, which triggered the gunfight, leaving him dead on the spot and injured three policemen. Meanwhile, police arrested his Johut Shamul. Viewers, that's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with My TV News online, visit www.youtube.com/mytvbtnews. And to watch all your programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com/mytvbangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7:30 p.m. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Allah Hafiz.